Water is the most important resource on the planet, but it's also extremely energy intensive. It takes a lot of energy to deliver water, and it takes a lot of water to deliver energy. Now, imagine a world where cars run on water. Toyota is making this dream a reality with its next level water engine. But what does this mean for the auto industry? Is this going to change its perspective? Come on, let's find out more. Well, Toyota, a well-known car manufacturer, has been exploring ways to make their vehicles more environmentally friendly. One of their latest innovations is an engine that uses water to generate energy. This might sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's actually based on a scientific process known as electrolysis. In a traditional car engine, fossil fuels like petrol or diesel are burned to create energy. This energy is then used to power the car. However, burning fossil fuels releases harmful gases into the atmosphere, contributing to air pollution and climate change. Who would have thought water could power our cars? Toyota's new engine works differently. Instead of burning fossil fuels, it uses water. Now, water itself doesn't burn, but it can be split into two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. And this is where electrolysis comes in. Electrolysis is a process that uses energy to break down water into hydrogen and oxygen. In Toyota's engine, this process happens in real time. The engine has a water tank equipped with electrodes. When these electrodes receive high voltages, they immediately separate water into hydrogen and oxygen. Once the hydrogen is isolated, it is directed into the combustion chamber of the engine. Here, it ignites in a way similar to natural gas. The energy from this combustion is then used to power the car. Toyota's new engine is an amazing piece of today's technology, but how does it manage to be so compact and lightweight? Well, one of the great things about this process is that it's self-sustaining. The engine doesn't need external hydrogen storage, which makes it more compact and lightweight compared to traditional hydrogen vehicles. Plus, the only byproduct of burning hydrogen is water vapor, which is much less harmful to the environment than the gases produced by burning fossil fuels. Another advantage of Toyota's water-powered engine is that it can be refueled with distilled water, an abundant and accessible resource. This is very different from the complicated process of charging electric cars or filling up hydrogen cars, where the necessary facilities are still being developed. Toyota's water-powered engine is a remarkable piece of engineering efficiency. It eliminates the need for going to refueling stations or external storage systems, making it a practical and eco-friendly alternative to traditional engines. Can you believe its only byproduct is harmless water vapor? Toyota's water-powered engine represents a significant step forward in sustainable transportation. By harnessing the power of water through electrolysis, Toyota is making the way for a clearer and more sustainable future. It's a fascinating example of how science and technology can be used to solve real-world problems and make our world a better place. Starting to create new things is not simple, and yet Toyota's water-powered engine is no exception. Curious about the challenges of this technology? Well, the first challenge is the lack of infrastructure of water-powered vehicles. Unlike petrol stations, there are currently no refueling stations for water-powered cars. This means that owners of these vehicles would need to find a source of distilled water to refuel their cars, which could be inconvenient. The tech used in water-powered engines, particularly the electrolysis process, can be expensive. The cost of the electrodes and the electricity needed for electrolysis could make water-powered cars more expensive than traditional cars. And while water is a plentiful source, electrolysis is not 100% efficient. Some of the energy is lost as heat during the process, which could make water-powered cars less efficient than other types of vehicles. Also, another important thing is the fresh water requirement. The electrolysis process requires fresh water, which could be a challenge in areas where fresh water is scarce. And converting seawater to fresh water for use in these engines could add steps and costs, as well as the operation and maintenance of water-powered engines require a skilled workforce. Training professionals who understand the technology and can handle any issues that might arise is needed. Lastly, there is the challenge of public perception. Many people are used to traditional cars and might be hesitant to switch to a new technology they're not familiar with. Overcoming this barrier would require education and awareness campaigns. But despite these challenges, the potential benefits of water-powered engines make them a promising technology for the future. They offer a sustainable and environmentally friendly alternative to fossil fuel-powered cars. And with further research and development, many of these challenges could be overcome. It's an exciting time for the automotive industry, and it will be interesting to see how this technology evolves in the coming years. Can driving help save the planet? Well, with Toyota's water-powered vehicles, it's possible. So how? 
Traditional vehicles that run on fossil fuels emit greenhouse gases, like carbon dioxide when they burn fuel. These gases contribute to global warming and climate change. Water-powered vehicles, on the other hand, produce no such emissions. Another important thing is that water is a renewable source, and it's abundant on our planet. This makes it a sustainable fuel source for vehicles, unlike fossil fuels, which are finite and take millions of years to form. We won't run out of water. Could this water engine change the dynamics of the auto industry? Well, it's not just about cars anymore, it's about a sustainable future. Comment your thoughts on the upcoming water engine and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.